service incentive leave. You see, um, uh, claims for service incentive leave is a money claim. Now, a question may arise as to the uh, prescription of service incentive leave. Ordinarily, money claims prescribed in three years from the time the cause of action accrued. Now, but uh, when it comes to the prescriptive period for service incentive leave, the reckoning of the prescription uh, or, or the, the prescription is still three years, three years period because it is uh, a money claim. But when do we reckon the three year prescriptive period? Well, the three year period is reckoned from the time that the employer refuses to pay its monetary equivalent or upon termination of employment. Why is that so? Well, the reason is because a service incentive leave is cumulative if uh, uh, unused. Uh, because uh, the, employer, the employee has the choice to choose on to use the service incentive leave or to get its cash equivalent. Now, suppose the employee does not avail of these two options. The service incentive leave will accumulate. And the employee can get the accumulated service incentive leave upon termination of his employment. So that means that if the employee did not get his the cash equivalent of his service incentive leave for 10 years, the employee can still recover the 10 uh, year service incentive leave. Uh, and the prescription will run only from the time that the employer refused to pay its monetary equivalent or upon termination of uh, employment.